Okay, this is my tutorial on how to fix the waiting connection problem on COD4. Now, all WA double um, wall. Now you're going to go on to um, to, to this link. I'll put in the, the description, and it says disable any foul security features within your router. Now this is what I did to fix my awaiting connection problem and I fixed it by disabling the firewall security now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your command prompt if you already know how to get into your router then if you know your IP then you can put it in if you don't you can go to you write in con fig and slash oops, slash ball oops sorry ip con fig sorry you're gonna have to write ip config not config ip config and slash all now you're gonna put it in and you should go up and you should see your DHCP server or the default gateway. Now mine is 10.0.0.2. Now you're going to take that and you're going to open a window and put this in 10.0.0.2. And you're going to put that in and then you're going to wait and this is going to come up. Now you're going to put in admin and admin admin now you put this in for well that would be usual the default is usually that if that doesn't work then you just put admin for the username and nothing for the password or nothing for the for the username and nothing and admin for the password or just nothing at all but it should be admin and admin and you're going to say OK. Now I have a billion 400G. And it depends what type you have. But you should be able to find your firewall. You're going to go to, if, if you've already found it, if you know where it is. If you have a billion 400G, then you're going to go to Advanced. Click Advanced. I just clicked it. Then you're going to Configuration, Firewall, and General Settings. And here, usually you'll see enabled here, enabled, enabled, and enabled. Before it was, this was all enabled. And you're going to click disabled, disabled, and put that all on disabled. So you completely disable it. Then you're going to apply. And when that's finished, well, then it should work. Then you can just go to Call of Duty and it'll work. You can go to Call of Duty and it, the game will work and it will be fine you'll be able to play multiplayer and all that but if this doesn't work then you can do other things like set port forwarding on your router and IP internet protocol address on your PC this game uses post UDP but this is for the black ops but that won't help but if but for um, COD4 you're going to go configuration again and if the router doesn't work, don't do this also unless you're going to put um, make a serve your own server or like don't, unless you're going to make your own put make your own server on COD4. But otherwise, you don't need to do it if this worked. Once you've done this, then you just hit apply. You can go out and play, and it'll work. But if it doesn't, then you'll go to your configuration, virtual server port forwarding and here you're going to um, most routers won't have it like this if it's not a billion it won't be like this but what what you can look at a video for your router but if it's a billion a billion and I've already put port forwarded these and you're going it has to be TCP and UDP and the external port will be 28960 and 22, 28960 
and the redirect port is and then yeah you're gonna put in that 28960 inside the external port redirect port and your internal IP address if you know it my one is 10.0.0.6 it won't give you it most of the time the first time you're gonna do the same thing with command prompt put in IP con fig again slash all and it should be here that should be it that should be your IP address under the IPv4 address that works for me then you're going to add it and it's going to come up here but also I'll make another video on how to do that on how to um, make it there's other things you have to do for making an internet um, server in Call of Duty Okay, when you finish with that, with the port forwarding, you can port forward if this, that didn't work. If it still doesn't work, then you can place your PC in a DMZ of your router. And to do that, it's in the virtual server also, edit DMZ, and you're going to put in your, SP, your IPv4, the same one inside, and it's 10.0.0.106, and you can, then you enable it, press apply, and that, then it will work that doesn't work then you can disconnect your router and try the game but if you disconnect your router then that won't work anyway those those ones that I've done should work and then your game should work but those what I've just done should work but for me it was to disable which I said was again was in firewall general settings and you'll just disable all of it it depends what router you have you just find a firewall and you disable it that will work. This was mainly for the for Ghost MW2. Do you like fish? That was what he asked for. Wait, wait. I forgot to tell you. If it didn't work, if the other things didn't work, there's still one, the bit defender, or any antivirus you have, and you're just gonna go to it and go to the antivirus and the firewall. Mainly the fire will be blocking it, and you'll um, and you'll just take it off. I, this is how I take it off, and with the, with um, your firewall, you'll just take off your firewall, take it, take it all off, and that should work. If the other things did not work, that should be blocking it. And if it did work then I'm happy for you that it worked and I'll show you right now how it works and we'll be fine right now okay this is the video now it should be working it should be fine this is my favorite local the local will be working even if it is blocking most of the time and the internet you can refresh and these all come up there should be more Unless you have, um, you've taken off Punk Buster. My Punk Buster, for some reason, doesn't work. If anyone else could help me with that, it would be helpful. But it doesn't work with PB setup. It doesn't update. Something else is blocking it. Not my firewall. Some something's blocking it. It's not working. Modes. I don't want modes. I just want normal. And you'll just leave it like that, and it'll be fine. And you'll get all these. It should work. And I'll just. Um, Join one like um let's join one this one should be working. Okay. Just wait. When I'm recording it goes a bit slower. Also my internet's a bit slower while I'm recording. And you'll just go on the top of YouTube as you can see. This is a pretty dumb server. There's so many guys, you can't kill anyone. So, yeah, let's just go around and kill guys. Play out the game. My ping is pretty high right now, 329. But, um, since this is recording, plus it's on higher graphics than I need to put it on, that ping is higher, and my internet speed is slow. Just leave the game.
that game wasn't very good. And then you can play and it'll be fine. So that should be working for you. Now as I said the when you join the game this if punk buster doesn't work for me, modes just take all and it'll be fine. We have multiplayer options, punk buster yes. Even though it doesn't work for me, enable console you must say yes. Voice chat you can say yes if you want. All the different things for your multiplayer options. And it'll be working fine. So um that should be working. Now if you have any other problems, um just comment below. Um ghost mw2 um tell me if uh it worked. Since you subscribe you should get the video. Tell me if it worked below. If it didn't work, then tell me that and I'll tr try to figure out what was wrong. Okay. Um thank you for watching and watch my other videos that I'm other video tutorials on how to fix certain things on games and my gaming my gameplay on Call of Duty and other games. So thank you. Shall look out.